Standard form of a quadratic function. I can find the vertex and y intercept of a quadratic function written in standard form. How can you use key features to graph f of x equals x to the power of 2 minus 4x plus 8? At first, we need to find the coefficient values of a, b, and c. a is equals to 1, b, negative 4, and c is 8. Now, in order to find the axis of symmetry, we need to find the values of the vertex first. We have two letters for the vertex, which is h and k. In order to find the k, we need to find the h first. The h has a special formula, which is equals to negative b over 2a. Now, simply, in order to find the value of h, we will just substitute the value of b and a in this formula. So it's going to be negative negative 4 over 2 times 1, which is equals to 2. Now, we need to find the k value. How do we find the k value? We will just simply substitute the value of h in the x-coordinate of this equation. So it's going to be f of 2 equals 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 2 plus 8. You could use a calculator to find the answer, which is equals to 4. Now we found the vertex, which is 2 and 4. How we, found, how we find the axis of symmetry? The axis of symmetry is just simply the value of h, or you could say the value of x. So the axis of symmetry is x equals to 2. Now, how do we find the y-intercept? The y-intercept is so easy to find. We will just substitute the value of the x letter by the 0. Or we could say, in other words, evaluate the 0 on the x. Step 2. Find the y-intercept of the quadratic function. So the y-intercept occurs at f of 0 equals 0 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 0 plus 8. So the y-intercept is 0 and 8. Now we came to the fun part, which is sketching a graph. At first, we will plot our findings. The vertex. We found that the vertex is 2 and 4, and the axis of symmetry, which is 2, and the y-intercept, which is 0 and 8. As you can see, we plotted our function here, but we saw some changes. The function translated two units to the right and four units upwards. And this is the line that cuts the parabola into two equal parts, which is the, called the axis of symmetry. It passes through the vertex and the x-axis. Since point zero 0.08 is in the parabola and it is two units up to the right away from the axis of symmetry, the other point, which is 4 and 8, is going to be the same. It's going to be 2 units to the right away from the axis of symmetry. Thanks for watching and hope it helped.